My name is Maisie and I'm in my third year of college. I'm so excited about the new GAT video series. My favorite STEM subjects to study are chemistry and biology, and I also really like to draw and paint about science. I'm currently a chemistry major at Brown University, and I'm also going to medical school in New York City to become a doctor who takes care of babies. The fancy name for that is a neonatologist. Happy 20th anniversary, GAT! Hello, my name is Nancy Halpern, and I'm a partner in the Intellectual Property Department at Fox Rothschild, where I've worked for the last nine years. I'm also a New Jersey licensed veterinarian, the founder and chair of the Animal Law Practice Group at Fox, the former New Jersey state veterinarian, and owner of a solo large animal veterinary practice. I wanted to share with you how my background in STEM has benefited me in my legal career. First, my scientific background has enabled me to become a patent attorney. And in that part of my practice, I apply my scientific and medical knowledge to the benefit of my clients, to counsel and defend their valuable intellectual property rights. But I really wanted to emphasize my passion in my practice of animal law where I represent veterinarians and animal-related businesses, from farmers and ranchers to pharmaceutical companies, and defend their right to continue to own and use animals humanely to produce medical remedies that save the lives of humans and animals alike, to produce wholesome food to feed the world, and to provide companionship that benefits animals and their owners. I use my scientific and medical background every single day, along with my legal skills when I represent my clients. I also teach at Rutgers University and Seton Hall Law so that other attorneys can understand the benefit of recognizing the value of animals in our lives. I encourage you to explore STEM and find your passion as well. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mary Lou Watson, and I am a partner and patent attorney at the law firm of Fox Rothschild. So I'm here to talk to you about my initial interest in pursuing a career in STEM. It actually started when I was in high school. I was really good at science and math, and I thought I wanted to go become a doctor. So when I graduated from high school, I went to college and I majored in biology. I got all the way through college, Got my degree in biology, but decided I didn't want to be a doctor after all. So because I worked on the weekends throughout college in a hospital pharmacy as a technician, I decided I was going to go to pharmacy school. So I did. And I went through all of the years of pharmacy school and uh, became licensed as a pharmacist, which I am still today. But in my last year of pharmacy school, I had a class called Pharmacy Law and the professor was a pharmacist and a lawyer. And I frankly had never seen that combination before. So I went and talked to that professor and asked her to be my mentor, which is really important that you seek out mentors in an area that you're interested in, as well as experience. And um, I then went on to law school and I went all the way through law school, graduated from law school, and decided I was definitely going to combine my science background with the law. So what I do today as a patent attorney allows me to do exactly that, because in order to be a patent attorney, you must have a scientific or a technical degree, like maybe in engineering or one of the sciences like biology or chemistry or physics or uh, computer science, and there are a whole lot of areas of, of science that you can combine your law degree with to become a patent attorney. So the clients I represent today are mostly pharmaceutical and chemical companies because I have to understand the science of what they do, and I help them get patents on their new inventions. So that's what I do, I love what I do, and I hope that you'll consider a career as a patent attorney too one day. Thanks, bye-bye. Hi, my name is Karen Davis. I practice environmental law at the office of Fox Rothschild. 
I have a bachelor's of science in environmental science, and I work for an environmental consulting firm before going to law school. I really enjoy practicing environmental law because the intersection of science and law is like figuring out a puzzle to me, and I've always really enjoyed puzzles. Also, math is a lot like law. They both involve a lot of logic and analytical thinking. Uh, so if you like math, you might enjoy the practice of law. There are challenges in uh, environmental law, like there are in any STEM field. Sometimes the science that I need to understand is very complex and dense, and it can be challenging to understand. But like anything, once it has been conquered, it's that much more rewarding. For anyone thinking about a career or an education in STEM, I would highly encourage it. An education in STEM allows for a wide range of options in terms of careers. It provides an education in critical thinking which is uh, a very important skill that can be applied in a lot of different areas. Having a background in STEM has benefited me in my legal career um, very directly. Practicing environmental law with a background in environmental science is a perfect fit. And in addition to the specific science, uh, the education in science, deductive reasoning, critical thinking, and logic is very helpful in a legal career. A legal career uh, following a STEM education is a great fit. There are some fields that are more focused on STEM, like environmental law, intellectual property, other regulatory fields that are science or medically based like as FDA regulation. But really, I think a degree or education in STEM is a good background for any kind of legal career because of the logical thinking and the critical thinking that is part of a STEM education. Um, so along the way, there have been a number of things that I didn't anticipate. Um, one thing that I didn't anticipate, but I've really enjoyed, is working so closely with the environmental engineers and the environmental scientists. That is a key component of practicing environmental law, and I really enjoy that interaction. Every time I work with uh, a scientist or engineer, I learn a little bit more, and it's just fun to get to know them and to work with them. So I really hope you consider an education and a career in STEM. Creative and innovative job opportunities exist in the legal fields when working to tackle challenging and complex technical issues that continue to arise across the world. Let's talk about evidence, specifically electronic evidence. In today's world, electronic evidence is everywhere. It's, on, it's in the cloud, on your computer or tablet, in your car, on your mobile device, your Fitbit or Apple Watch, and even voice services like Alexa. ESI, or electronically stored information, continues to grow exponentially, and this data sometimes needs to be collected and managed in order to use as evidence. Once data sources have been identified, it needs to be preserved and collected, oftentimes forensically, in order to be defensible. Law firms, government agencies, and companies will then process the data and present it to the involved parties for review. The data needs to be limited to a manageable size and this can be accomplished in many ways. As an example, law firms have specialists that handle evidence and use technology to run advanced analytics across collections to present the most pertinent or responsive sets of data for a case. This is extremely valuable to attorneys and helps set them up to win cases. An interest in ESI can be a bridge for some very cool opportunities like forensics, privacy, data security, artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and law enforcement agencies like the FBI. 
Managing ESI will continue to need to be addressed and will continue to affect companies in every industry. Jobs focused in these areas will continue to evolve and continue to grow. Best of luck, future STEM leaders. You can